all right. So, uh, so how was your week? Good. Um, busy, but uh, but good. Yeah, all good stuff. Great. And uh, how did how did the practicing go? Good. Good. So, um, why don't we jump right into Claire de Lune and, and work on the section I signed last week? Okay. Okay. Um, go ahead. Oh, yeah. So, I, I had a couple of questions about this part, actually. Oh, okay, sure. There's a there's a fingering written there. Uh, is is that right? Uh, yeah, they're there. They should be fine. Okay, okay. Cause uh, uh, yeah, I, I I worked on I tried changing it a little bit just to see if something else you know works maybe a little better. Um, it, it didn't. But yeah, so I spent I spent a little bit of time on that. Um, yeah. All right. Um, okay. So so uh, go go ahead and start again. Oh, okay. So, what do you think about the the emotional component of of this piece? Because I've been I've just been going over the, the I've been going over it in my head trying to figure out what the best way to deliver it is, and I'm just wondering about you know what should I be channeling? What should I be feeling? You know, as 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 I play this this particular section. Well, I think first we really need to nail down the notes and the fingerings mm -hmm. before we can dive too much into the musicality and the delivery. Right. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead and start again. Yes. Okay. Did Debussy and Ravel really hate each other? You're avoiding this. I wonder if that sentiment should be reflected in the performance. Please start again. Do you think you could give me a detailed summary of the composers whose work most predominantly led to the development of the Impressionist era, and how those composers ultimately influenced Debussy's rhythmic and harmonic styles? And maybe, you know, if you could squeeze it into about 57 minutes? You didn't practice. Hmm? You didn't practice. No. Why not just tell me? Oh, I, I thought maybe directing the conversation somewhere totally unrelated would keep you from finding out. Uh-huh. Okay, well, why don't we go ahead and reassign that for next week? Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, let's work on the, the minor scales from last week. Oh, could you list some of the best examples for hearing the minor scale in use in compositions? I really want to understand it more before I actually perfect my ability to play it. Get out. Thank God. Thank God. 